Hey, what is up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you here today. We got a special one coming for you today. We got the Savage Slies Slim Jim. I know this has been out there for a long time, but this was honestly the first time that I've seen one. Um, and, and I had to pick it up. I think that uh, Randy Savage's family and the Slim Jim family got back together. Um, roughly like two years ago, they started using him on packages again. And they came out with the uh, the Savage Slim Jim, which I think is just a really big freaking Slim Jim uh, right there. But uh, I had to pick this up. I mean, uh, I, I remember the Mattel uh, Slim Jim Savage that came out that was a uh, Comic-Con exclusive that was a really hot commodity um, a couple of years ago then people started seeing these they actually have like pop-up like Randy Savage some of them have like cups that sit on the registers some of them have actual like uh, stand-up like cardboard standees uh, that, that, that sit out on the floor that hold up the Slim Jims that sell them but um, I had to pick it up First time I've seen one. I don't go into a lot of like 7-Elevens or anything like that. But I actually bought this at Big Lots is where I found it. And I had to check to try and find if it had like an expiration date on it. Because I didn't want a, a Slim Jim that had been sitting around. But honestly, I couldn't find one on there. But I had to pick it up. Even if it's the worst thing in the world, the nostalgia that I got from just seeing it uh, was pretty damn cool. Everybody remembers the, uh, the Slim Jim... Uh, commercials that went, went along with uh, WWF back in the day uh, during their uh, paid for by uh, what, 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 what was it Lord Alfred would say paid for type it was something like that basically they're, they're sponsors at the end of the show uh, and then of course when um, uh, Randy left and he went to WCW uh, Bischoff talks about the fact that Slim Jim pretty much paid Randy Savage's contract because their sponsorship deal came along with them. Uh, you can remember them having the Slim Jim, uh, like, sort of on the, the the ring posts. They were advertised as, like, being Slim Jims, and sometimes you'd see the Slim Jim logo in the ring. Um, so WCW uh, pretty much got Randy Savage for free because along with Savage came the Slim Jim um, sponsorship. So um, one of the funniest stories I have... Um, about Slim Jims is the fact that uh, WrestleMania 26, they handed them out before um, the show. Uh, they just kind of walked around and handed out sample size Slim Jims. They were only like this freaking big. But um, that, that I think that was all I ate that day before I actually got in um, to the, uh, the stadium. For WrestleMania 26, my first WrestleMania, made a lot of mistakes on that trip. Uh, if I could do it again, um, we'd do a, a, a lot of things different. Um, talked about that in a bunch of different videos. But um, my friend Luke Cage actually snuck the Slim Jim in, thinking that security was going to take it away from him. Um, one of the funniest stories that, that he ever um, was says. But uh, I can remember Slim Jim passing out samples, uh, basically at... Uh, a lot of accesses, uh, SummerSlam and WrestleMania. Um, always been a, been a real big deal with WWE, so um, good to see them back. But uh, let's see what's up with the original Savage size Slim Jim. Pretty easy to get into. <laughs> ah. Tastes like a Slim Jim normally would. It's just probably twice the size. So, honestly... Pretty damn cool. See Randy Savage still gracing uh, the cover of uh, Slim Jim after all these years. So uh, peace out. I'll see you guys down the road.